Hello, Mark again. It's been a while since we've had a visit to the Polytunnel. Last time we was up here, um, everything was just starting to get going. There was a few plants in there that have just been planted out. Uh, things have come on, come on a bit since then. It's only a, you know, a few weeks down the road, but everything's growing like wildfire. Um, just outside, these few things have been hardening off. There we've got some sweet peas uh, that I'm just doing a bit of a garden for. They'll be planted out so they'll be nice and colourful when they come out. A couple of pots of herbs there, there's some coriander, uh, marjoram. Uh, these courgette plants here are actually a little bit spindly, they should have been planted out a while ago. There's one in the polytunnel already but these ones were destined for outside but the outside space was not quite ready yet. A few more herbs there, a couple of rhubarb plants that Sharon's sown from seed. Let's go inside, see what we can find. Some, uh, again, these are ones that were left over. These are dwarf French uh, beans. There's some cabbage plants there. Actually, that's a good tip. When you cut a cabbage, um, you know, don't pull it all up together. If you cut it up, cut it off somewhere near the base. And as you can see, you get all these little other cabbage plants that, that come off it. So. You know, you get a second lease of life on your cabbage plants. Uh, some flat leaf parsley there, a couple of chilli plants. Um, what's that one? That one's a, a, just a bell pepper plant. A few tubs of uh, basil there. There's a grapevine over in the corner. I've got to put some trellis up there, um, so that's got something to climb up. And if I just pan round a bit, you'll be able to see in the main it's looking quite neat and tidy. I have to hold my hand up here and say that um, Sharon's done the majority of the work here, planting everything out. I come up and water it and just weed it now and again, but Sharon's done the majority of the work. Uh, there's some plants up the top there, they're all just waiting to go out, hopefully by the end of the weekend. Uh, they'll be in their proper bed and ready to give us some nice vegetables. There's a couple of tubs of um, plants here that are destined for the uh, patio. Uh, we've got some beetroot growing up the side of the, the sweet corn there. As you can see the sweet corn did really well last year and hopefully this year it will do just as well. There's a few strawberry plants there. Let's see, I can just see one that's ready. Oh look at that, lovely. I'm just going to uh, pick and eat that one. Oh that is so good. Mm, beautiful. Oh, what we got round here then? Uh, some uh, cut and come again lettuce there, it's like salad leaves. Just keep picking it and it just keeps growing. Uh, there's some dwarf French beans. See the difference in these ones to the first ones I showed you. Uh, obviously these ones have been in the ground a while. They're starting to flower now. There's sun gold tomato there. I've got this one on string and just keep winding it round. And hopefully it's a bit of an experiment to see if they grow any different that way than they do if you grow them up a cane. These cabbages here, we've been selling them for 50p each at the, at the uh, gate. And so far, I think we've sold about eight. So um, that's paid for the seed already on all the cabbages here. Um, now they're free. In this bed, we've got some plum tomatoes in the middle little plum tomatoes there. Uh, there's my courgette up the end. This is the uh, the round type courgette. I'll just have a look here. Oh there's one just come in there look. thought it might be nice to have something different than the ordinary courgettes but actually the ones I showed you outside are just the ordinary long type courgette. Some tomato plants up there they're all ready to go out. There's some sun gold and some money maker I believe and a couple of plum tomatoes. Sharon's carrots that she grew in the tubs, some runner beans there, some more carrots in the tubs. Uh, these are the first early salad potatoes there. Uh, won't be too much longer before they're ready actually. Big row of sun gold tomatoes, more dwarf French beans. We've planted some basil, I don't know if you can see it, just the little tiny spots of green there in and around the uh, tomato plants. Hopefully that will keep some of the pests away. And there's some, some rows of 
carrots that are just coming through there. So that'll be nice to eat those, and being as they're in raised beds, they should do really well. But anyway, that's, that's a, just a quick tour so you can see how everything's come on in the polytunnel. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I can't wait till everything's ready and start, you know, eating for free again. But anyway, this is Mark signing off. I hope you enjoyed the tour, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.